Hey everyone, this is Gleb and today I want to show you a few tricks with multiple checkboxes. So I have a form with one, two, three checkboxes. Some of them are checked, some are unchecked. Orange, apple, banana labels. So let's confirm that we have a single checked box. We can say give me a checkbox and jQuery has this short card this is equivalent to type equals checkbox, which I really like. And if you want to get all checked, you can use colon check jQuery selector. So there's only one, okay, the middle one. And well, you can try saying, well, there'll be two unchecked ones, but there is no unchecked. So if you want to get the checkboxes that are not checked, you have to use jQuery not selector and put the property that you want to negate in parentheses. So those orange and banana checkbox are unchecked right now. Great. Um, the only one other thing you have to remember that if you, for example, get all checkboxes and you say should be checked, then as long as at least one checkbox is checked, this assertion passes even though there are three boxes and some of them are not checked. And uh, the opposite is not true. If you say should not be checked, well, it fails because there is one box that is checked. So it kind of works one way. Now imagine we want to check all the boxes, right? So orange, apple is already checked and then banana. Well, we can do something like give me all the boxes and then for each you have a jQuery object with a single box I can you can say prop this uh, jQuery object so you can use Cypress command check but that's like visibility action ability checks so what is the all check but much much easier is to not do this and instead just get the same thing Okay, let me just remove this block and just say check. And it acts the same way. It goes through all um, the checkboxes, okay? And if it's unchecked, it will check. And if it's already checked, it will continue to the next one. So let's confirm that we checked each box without using this assertion that actually passes even though there are some boxes that are not checked individually. So you can say each, again, get the element and get the index because then you can say expect element and give a message. So box A plus one, so it starts with one, uh, expect to be checked. Oops, comma instead of a dot. Okay, so now we explicitly went through each box and confirmed that not only some boxes are checked, but each box is checked. Um, instead of going through boxes one by one, why don't we do the following? We know how to get the number of unchecked boxes. So we can just say there should be no unchecked boxes at all. So zero. And finally, the last thing of a puzzle is how do we get the actual value? So each input checkbox has a value. And right now it's equal to the label on the lowercase, so orange, apple, banana. So if you want to get the values of the checked elements, in this case all three, I suggest that you use queries from my Cypress map plugin, because then you can get the checkboxes, map each one to a value, and whenever I work with queries, I use cyprint that prints the current subject. So this is the value and we can say should deep equal and this value. Okay, so after you check the boxes the way you want to, you can get all the values and confirm they're correct. So find this recipe at my Cypress example site. I will link it in the description of this video.